What's going on everybody? Brandon Schaefer here. Welcome to day 10. I think it's day 10. That's too early for me to tell. It's about 5.45 a.m. in the morning and I'm heading out to paint this castle ruins because it's a big day today. Find out more about that later, but right now let's go paint this castle ruin. So I'm in the car. Let's do it. Ah. Epic, super epic, man. What an epic sunrise this morning. Unreal. I should, maybe I should paint the sunrise for a little too late now. That's amazing. Let's keep let's keep going. This is the castle we saw yesterday evening. So if you haven't seen that video, go back one episode, check it out. So here's the castle. I'm gonna walk across this bridge, see if I can get maybe a different view or a better view. If not, I'm gonna head back to the spot I was just at and uh, paint it right there. But I gotta do it quickly, really short on time today. So that's why I'm up so early and uh, trying to capture this, this castle, man. Should be cool. Even if the painting turns out to be bad, I was out here in the morning, I got to see it again, and uh, it's just an epic place, you know, doing a sketch in an epic place. It's very cool. Wow, what an unbelievable view. You know, I think walking back a little bit was better because it was more straight on. Uh, with this, there's just too many different sides and angles and things happening, and I don't want it to get too complicated. And it's closer to my car so I can get warmed up a lot quicker <laughs> once I'm finished. So yeah, should be pretty cool, man. This is exciting. I'm usually never this awake in the morning, but something like this will wake me up, man. And seeing that epic sunrise, that was an amazing sunrise this morning on, driving on the way here. I'm just gonna set up on the ground right here near this traffic light and uh, see what I can get away with in about 25 minutes. So let's do it. Alright guys, I think I did the best I could do with that little sketch there. I think it turned out pretty well. I'm pretty happy with it right now. We'll have a look at it later today. The light's completely changing now. The sun's coming up, so the sky's getting warmer and everything. Anyway, I gotta head back. Uh, we're on a time schedule today, so I gotta get back to the house. And um, anyway, let's see what else will happen today. Uh, one thing I do like about this car, this Mercedes that, we re that I rented, the seat heaters are amazing. Gotta love it, man. Especially after being outside and cold and painting, now I can just heat the seat up. I got about a 15 minute drive back. Ah. Alright guys, we just packed up at our Airbnb here, about to head out. And this is actually our last day in England, so that's why I had to do the sketch early this morning. We're headed to the airport, about two and a half hours away in Edinburgh. Edinburgh, however you say it, I don't really know. I don't think they're gonna let us sit in here. We're at a cool little rest stop here in Scotland this morning on the way to the airport. There's a Starbucks, a Burger King, some other kind of stuff, pretty cool. But we're gonna eat some leftovers from last night, the Indian food. Hopefully it's good still. Well, we made a pretty good dent in it, but uh, that's about all we could eat. I hate kind of wasting food, but can't eat it all and we're heading to the airport, so it is what it is.
Today has been great, man, for last week. Seen some incredible stuff. So, uh, yeah, we're probably in about an hour. Gonna be getting on the plane, just heading back. Yeah, man, it's been incredible. Seeing all Stonehenge and castles and cathedrals and mansions, all kinds of stuff. So, pretty cool. All right, we're finally walking to get on the plane. Finally getting somewhere. All right, guys, there's a little twist to the story. Even though I said it was my last day in England, doesn't mean I was actually going home to California. Turns out, I'm back in Paris, so check it out. Well, anyway, let me show you how we got here. All right, about to get on the train here. Going to Paris. Pretty excited. Well, that was cool. We were the only ones that got off at that stop, which is crazy because all the other stops was like swarms of people. Yeah, so we're back in Paris, almost to Airbnb now, on the street, pretty close. So my first thought when seeing the Arc de Triomphe was how massive and tall it is. It's hard to really get a sense for something like that until you visit it and see it in person. And once I got closer, it was amazing to see all the detail and sculpture work on the arch. And after a while, I started thinking of all the oil paintings I've seen by Edward Cortez of it. And just being in the same areas as one of my favorite artists painted in was an inspiring feeling. And definitely seeing the last light on the arch was the best way to wrap up the evening, I think. This is my kind of shop right here. All right guys, so we just got back from the Arc de Triomphe and doing a little grocery shopping for dinner. It's pretty late now, it's about almost 10 p.m. Gonna get settled down. Uh, but before I end the video, let's talk about the castle sketch I did earlier this morning. All right, so I think it turned out pretty well. Uh, it was pretty challenging. I mean, it was such a big castle. And I had to really simplify things and uh, the light changed very quickly because it was the morning, even though it was cloudy. Um, there was kind of different layers to the clouds and the sky and stuff, but uh, overall I'm pretty happy with it. I mean, it was it was pretty difficult, so it's hard to uh, realistically wish more than, than this. So anyway, let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. Uh, be sure to click the little bell icon to receive notifications for future episodes. Take care of yourself. Peace.